Aquatometer Bordeaux was founded in 2019 and is based at the University of Bordeaux. The motivation of Quantumator Bordeaux is to offer a platform for the community of experts uh, on campus to meet and to exchange and to create new collaborations together, especially for physicists to meet chemists, to meet computer scientists and to start working together. We also organize schools for students and international workshops. Quantumator Bordeaux is composed of 40 to 50 faculty researchers who are scattered across nine different institutes in the University of Bordeaux. Quantum uh, physics is, is seen today as really an opportunity to create either uh, computers with higher capabilities um, but also to create new materials uh, that can um, eventually transport energy without dissipation. This all requires actually research to really refine the properties of the materials. And that's really the direction that we are tackling with quantum simulators, is really to mimic the properties of new materials, make sure that we understand how they work and refine their properties, such that they can fulfill new applications. The experiments that we are conducting here at the Laboratoire de Photonic Numeric and Nanoscience is to engineer uh, artificial matter and especially either using single molecule or using uh, ultracool atoms in optical lattices. By trapping ultracool atoms in optical lattices we can create uh, a structure that will mimic the properties of electrons in solid state systems. And the atoms will play the role of the electrons and will be able to go from one side to the other of a crystal of light. What is groundbreaking in the experiments that we are carrying is that we bridge the gap in between solid state systems, which are angstrom distance, and far field lattices, which are 500 nanometer distances. Going in between, we can target at solving novel phases of uh, quantum matter, such as topological phases. Our experiments are very challenging. They are mixing both experimental and theoretical uh, sides and uh, we need to carry both with collaborators. Quantum Matter Bordeaux has enabled to trigger the collaboration in between our experimental group and the theory group from the University of Bordeaux. So what's really exciting in Quantum Matter Bordeaux is for people coming from different fields to meet, to exchange and to have new ideas to create new directions of research and to push the boundaries of research in quantum matter. For example, between chemistry and physics, or between physics and quantum computing. New sensors led to new discoveries. Once we are able to study and investigate nature to a, a deeper level, what's happening with the highest resolution, we always found something new. So new detectors are often the, the gate to new discoveries. In the specific case, uh, a, a new detector, a new force detector with a, a very high sensitivity could investigate uh, the uh, interaction of uh, uh, molecules uh, at the surface or, uh, for example, forces which are at the moment not possible to be detected at all. Quantum matter Bordeaux uh, allowed to gather together a large community in Bordeaux, uh, going from the chemistry to theoretical physics. And this has been very important to foster uh, this community and to create the conditions for a, a living activity. Uh, this is also very important for us to welcome uh, external uh, postdoc, uh, PhD student or researcher that will come and find the perfect environment to develop their project and to uh, be inspired by other uh, members of the community. One of the activities uh, of Quantum Matter Bordeaux is the open call that we organize every year. Through this open call, we found different projects uh, across all campus, especially to promote new collaborations between different institutes, but also to help researchers from different fields to meet and to start new collaborations. And finally, to help young researchers who just arrived in Bordeaux to start building their own group. Yeah, so thanks to the funding of Quantum Matter Bordeaux, uh, that I receive. I'm currently building this new ultra-fast photo emission beamline uh, here at Celia uh, Bordeaux. 
Between 2006 and 2020, our two teams at Centre de Recherche Paul Pascal and Institut de Chimie de la Matière Condensée de Bordeaux have been collaborating using complementary skills in the field of molecular-based materials. Quantum Matter Bordeaux has supported us by the acquisition of a new spectrometer directly installed in the glove box where the synthesis of our materials are performed. The proximity of the chemistry and the physical characterization tool was one of the key points to rapidly progress in our project. So at the Centre de Recherche Paul Pascal, near Bordeaux, our work is dedicated to the design of functional materials that are coming from the assembly of organic molecules and metal ions at the molecular level. My dual expertise in chemistry and physics allow my group to go back and forth from the synthesis to the physics, to the physical property, and to optimize the desired physical property of our materials. Recently, we have designed metal organic magnet that actually function at relatively high temperature, but that also semiconductor. For the first time, we have been able to synthesize this magnet that can function at up to 515 Kelvin, but that have also at room temperature coercive fields that are in direct competition with inor inorganic magnets. One of the innovative aspects of quantum matter Bordeaux is really to promote transdisciplinary research, for example between solid state chemistry and theoretical physics, in order to design the next generation of supercomputers. So I synthesize new iron-based superconductors with iron-silicon superconducting layers. This means that we avoid the use of toxic elements like arsenic or selenium. And this is very important for us to work with cheap and non-toxic elements uh, in a quest of developing sustainable chemistry and eco-friendly chemistry. So during a quantum matter Bordeaux meeting, we realized with my colleague Sébastien Burdin that we were working on the same topic and so we decided to start a collaboration in the context of Quantum Matter Bordeaux. And the idea was um, to uh, explain the physical results that we observe in our materials. This collaboration is very important because it allows uh, chemists and physicists to work on the same subject and to understand uh, the physical uh, results that we observe. Quantum matter Bordeaux is still very young and this is just the start, but we have great hopes for the future. In particular, we really want to push further this synergy between all the different aspects of the quantum world, physicists, chemists, but also mathematicians, computer scientists and engineers working together to push together further the, the boundaries of research in this field.